Hello Top Potters, this is Simon Mas. Is copyright law fair? Answering means looking back at the reasons behind the law. Copyright must protect creators from unfair competition, give them incentives to keep working, foster an environment where creativity and creation thrive. We have said copyright law changes from country to country. Having your work copyrighted in one place doesn't give you the same rights in another. This does cause problems. Chinese laws, for example, allow for cases of plagiarism that seems hard to fight. There is room for improvement and further standardization of copyright laws. Yet, we cannot pretend that the existing laws don't protect creators at all. They do, especially if you compare the current situation to a world where copyright didn't exist. As for incentives, I don't think people work just for the money. You can see it every day with volunteers or with people that create music for the fun of it. Yet, I wouldn't be happy to create a piece of music only for the people next door to make an exact copy and put their name on it. Credit must be due, and copyright is a good way of achieving that. For those thinking about Creative Commons, these are great licenses based on the copyright law. They are not an alternative, they are a smart implementation. In some cases, the law should do even more to protect creators. We don't seem to have enough bargain power. Take Spotify. Spotify pays as little as 0.33 cents of a dollar per stream. It takes about 250 listens to get one dollar. Compare that with how much BBC Radio 1 pays per minute of music played on air, about 15 dollars in 2016. That's more than 4,500 times more. Again, that's for each minute, not for the whole song. Why does this happen? because major labels have negotiated that paltry rate with Spotify. The fact that Spotify gave them a piece of the ownership of the platform is a pure coincidence, I'm sure. Thanks to Bill Clinton's 1996 Telecommunication Act, major labels merged to create a de facto cartel. Today, three players administer the copyright over enough music that what they decide applies to everyone else. These people, who get paid regardless of who you listen to on Spotify, have decided that giving songwriters a third of a cent of a dollar per stream was enough. Does copyright law advance progress and research? Does it allow creators to have an easier time creating? I want to hear your thoughts about the matter, but I don't think it does. For a start, the length of time it takes for a copyrighted work to enter public domain is excessive. In 2022, works created by someone who died in 1952 just entered the public domain. If a composer had died at 70 and created their work when 20 years old, the piece was written in 1902. We're talking another universe, one in which music was recorded on wax cylinders. Are you telling me that the vast majority of that music was still so relevant today that their composers needed to be compensated? Your grand-grandchildren shouldn't be living off your work. What's worse is that it is not always clear whether work has infringed on someone else's copyright or not. Experts called in by juries to help deciding on a copyright breach can and do disagree on the basics. On top of that, being human, they can make mistakes, they can be bribed, they can have personal prejudices. These considerations alone should give lawmakers reasons to rework copyright. But they aren't the worst part of the deal. What is this worst? You will have to watch my next video on the subject to find out. For the moment, stay cool and keep your top hat on. Bye bye. Simon Mas, music you love.